Oh yeah, man, pal. Thank you. All right, time to go to extensive, I guess. Right. Thanks. You guys seem to be struggling a bit at the moment. Let's pull you back and let you replenish. In fact, let's just have you on this line. But spread out a bit more. Because I feel like you're actually losing experience, not gaining it right now. Which is not exactly helpful. We win that and we get this connection re-established. And that is going to mean good things. Good things. Do you give up? Guys, come on. Oh no, hang on. What I was going to do was have the greens responsible for this now. Have you help the greens hold that position. And then the purple units are going to merge into them. You're going to be commanded by Shaposhnikov. Let's merge all those units up to full strength once more. See what we can do with that. Okay, where are we being hit hard? Actually in here again. Looks like the Germans don't like the fact that I successfully counterattacked here. Uh, let me guess, this is all going to be just damaged. Let's get some serious repairs going with the infrastructure. We should get that done in no time. Oh. Right. Yeah, we need this guarded. Um. No. We need to cancel your whole order. Just want those guys. There we go. Getting some extra soldiers in the field, which is good. How's the war elsewhere going? Is anyone else opening up any other fronts? That would be nice. No. <laughs> Not really. Italy and Belgium still doing okay in Africa. Canada's now at war with the US by the looks of things. Or else something is fighting there. Mexico is being gobbled up by the communists. How's the UK's manpower doing? UK have got... Half a million? And they're on service by requirements. They're one manpower thing ahead of me. Germany sitting on about six million. They're still on all adult serve though. So once that pool is gone, 
it's done for Germany. I just need to hold out until then. Because after all adult serve is scraping the barrel. And looking at the strength of some of these German units. Uh, they are already starting to feel the pinch. And that's probably going to be the industrial bits. Now, how many... Rocket artillery do I have? 2,000. Is that enough to add to my infantry divisions? Because that should be a pretty significant increase in damage. Yes, yes I can. And what about the cavalry? Yes, I can. Tanks? Almost certainly. Slight shortage, but nothing I can't deal with. Call to arms from Italy against Japan. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> good luck. Which front line? Oh, that one. Yes, you're right. Well done. Thank you. Oh, we can get another doctrine. And it's December 43, so we could theoretically research the upgraded fighter now. How bad are we doing in terms of aircraft? We're actually gaining some again. Alright, let's see if we can provoke them into fighting me over the skies of the Ukraine. I can. And we are. <laughs> They're just bringing in more and more. Kill deaths are actually about equal, because I'm shooting down as many casts as I am fighters. And we need to upgrade our anti-air to the tier 3s. Very good, because all of my divisions have anti-air now. I haven't killed that many Frenchmen. The French are on our side. It's the Brits. The Brits and the Germans we're fighting. Oh, you're talking about General Winter. Right, right, right. At least the naval invasion stopped. Yeah, there is that. I would like to add a couple more troops to the Mountaineer crews. Did we do that already? Oh, we did that already. Alright then. <laughs> uh, in that case, you can go to him. I think I need to bring the tanks over down there. But we'll wait until the end of winter. And our industry is back into... Working on new factories again, which is good. Of course, Germany, unfortunately, have captured a whole bunch from me. That's going to be a lot of civilian factories, which is what I was expecting to use against them to make up the numbers. I 
do wish he weren't trying to take this. Because that's just asking for you to lose divisions. Alright, that's all the excavation techs done. Let's get the last tank, uh, artillery. And then we should probably get the 1943 mediums first. Right, what are we short on? How are we doing for resources? We can actually put some more onto aircraft production. Oh yeah! Alright, see if we can kick start that again. Although rubber is then gonna be the problem. Training the new medium tanks for the first time. We actually have some in surplus now. Nice little counter attack here by the mountaineers. See if we can take the, uh, the river line again. That's a very tidy little counter-attack. I like it. Hey Mordred, did you get a large military following before you did the Civil War? I started out with something like seven divisions, two territories, trying to figure out how to win the Civil War. Yeah, so you... The, the key for me was bringing Semenyov on side, because that allows you to recruit cavalry. Also, another thing to bear in mind is the fact that it doesn't actually tell you anywhere, but in the decision map mode, if you look over towards Siberia, you can use decisions to influence new territories, much like in the Spanish Civil War. And that's also how you get new divisions, too, with Semyov. It basically is like um, influence region, and that way you can take over like most of Siberia before the war starts. Just want to take cars, and I'll call this good enough. But if we take the airbase, even better. Okay, very happy with the progress made there. Question. Are you getting any organizer skill? No. I don't get it. I don't get why you are not getting organizer. Because he definitely should be. Germany broke the ciphers again. <laughs> Made me a bit concerned there. Okay. 
Why are you attacking here? No. Go, go another way. Alright, there we go. That's the front line I'm pretty happy with here. Although, actually, if we take... Wait, what? <laughs> oh dear. So I think the other thing I need to do is probably upgrade the air bases in this region. To better supply Crimea. Taking this position because river crossing and also there is a fort there. If I hold that, then I feel like I'm going to do a lot better. There we go. Now we just need to hold this line. So the mountains are precisely where I want them to be. You guys, I feel like, are being pushed further and further back, which sucks a bit. New focus. Well, I know exactly what focus I want this to be. Reinstitute the Meshnishtvo, which will give me another 1% recruitable population. Back in the day, the oldest and most distinguished families ran the affairs of state. This ensured that the elites were loyal to the state that they ran, and that each new generation would be raised to the exacting standards of the old. We should reinstitute this system to secure our new regime. Okay. You attack. You attack. They are apparently getting a lot of use out of the rail guns. Maybe I should invest in some of those. Another thing to research, though. technically to defend what you're doing. 14 will do. So I think we are going to start preparing another troop which we can position somewhere. Probably up in the north somewhere. Let's put you there for now. You'll be ready for a support company somewhere. A second Mexican revolution. The forces of the church and the revolution have once again come into conflict in Mexico. With the Catholic parties and the social movements gaining its strength, secularist forces are launching an armed rebellion to take control of the government. The brigades are reforming after a decade of inactivity, while defectors from the federal military are rallying to states controlled by the anti-church. How are my doctrines looking? Uh, we could definitely do with one more. Air doctrines have already finished. And it is 44, so we should start researching the new plane. Once the advanced artillery upgrade is done, I think that's exactly what we'll do, is get the new fighters. Double check that we all have AA. You don't. You don't even have rocket artillery. Oh, I can't afford it. 
Disaster! No, I can't. Rocket artillery. Support AA. There's the advanced artillery. Right, it is 44. Let's go and make sure we have the 44 fighters. Yak 3s! Alright, well, we're switching those two around then. Because you can actually get logistics wizard. Now I'd also like to have thorough planner, but that can wait. I think you have to use army plans for him to you get experience. What's that? What's that? Army plans. I have been all along. I use army plans really heavily. And it's not like you don't get them at all on the field marshal, because look, he's got them. He's been getting experience from the generals using them. What's the kill deaths looking like? They've lost 12.7, we've lost 8.7. Germany is almost up to 8 million. And 8 million is like the... That's when they get shaky. We've inflicted 5.8 million losses and taken 3 million against them, so... Our kill death against Germany is very, very good. We're getting to the situation where we can start doing counter-attacks, although actually you're doing a counter-attack. So are you. While the commanders aren't present, which is not a good idea. Four days, and then we should be good to go again. Yeah, I know I've got a lot of red experience. I'm waiting for the aeroplane to be researched, and then we'll be dumping that in there. <clears throat> it's part of the reason I'm prioritizing the fighters now. Yes. Can supply hubs be upgraded? Yes, the railways can be. And I think that is something we need to start doing. So let's make sure that those get promo prioritized. Because there are more and more troops entering the front line at this juncture. How's the air battle looking? We are definitely losing fighters, but they're not actually... Oh no, those are support planes. They have 7,500 fighters here. I see. should continue to research his better radar. Alright. <clears throat> so 
So the commanders have now returned. So let's have you two working closely together and see if we can make some ground up here. So they can't pierce the armor of my medium tanks. That's very good to know. But their air force still does a bit of a number on us. Dutch East Indies are back. Yes, they are. Looks like Australia's pushing out again. Oh, go Australia. Heck yeah. And Italy and Ethiopia definitely seems to be holding. That's a naval invasion, but this time I have spare troops. Close that down. Although it'd be nice if those spare troops were cavalry. <laughs> They'd be a bit faster at responding. Let's make our tank divisions able to hit a bit harder. 